morning, Asia. Welcome to the North American Wrap and Asian Preview from Privateer FX. It's an extremely quiet session during North America. Let's take a look at some of the charts from last yesterday uh, during during the Asia. That seemed to be all the uh, all the action was definitely in uh, the Asian time zone. You can see here that we had um, we sent out on Twitter yesterday the coalition talks had failed with Merkel's government and the euro and euro crosses came under pressure in uh, during the Asian time zone you can see here it's right near the open of Asia where euro yen sold off from 132.20 area got all the way down to 131.15 17 was a low our break trade that we've been highlighting for a long time we'll look at it on the dailies was this break at 131.40 45 area so we you know, it, it was a false break and yielded some pips early on, but uh, it didn't last. You can see the, uh, if you look here at the euro dollar, see the big sell off that we had in Asia here from uh, right around 118, the figure got down to 117.20 area, then rallied right back up. I actually put a new high in during uh, on the London Open and then. You see a lot of red bars here just kind of was grinding lower and and had a weak close let's take a look at the daily chart you can see where we're closing here in north america we're you know right just off the lows of the day so that bar is kind of heavy um did not make it did not take out friday's high so it's not a reversal um if we jump over to our reversals page we'll see uh We'll see how things shaped up on the day as we're approaching the uh, North America close. You got dollar yen, made a new low, took out that, that big down day on Friday. We made a lower low. We stopped right at this FIBO that we had talked about, the 111.90. Here you can see it. This is a big upswing from 107 up to the highs, and 114 highs. We did stop right at 90, and we're putting a reversal day higher. Some of the other yen crosses are looking similar here's the euro yen chart that we've been talking about for the past couple of weeks the wide range big range of 134.50 down to 131.50 on the wide again we pierced that during asia on the merkel headlines and look what we're doing now it's actually higher on the day which is you know a bit surprising to a lot of us 10-year yields in the u.s were were higher today Gold got hit pretty hard. Pop over to this gold chart. This kind of came out of nowhere, and that that lent a bid to dollar yen, and equities closed higher on the day. Um, you can see here this gold chart again. It's not a reversal, but it is a big down day, and it's it's closing near the lows. There's going to be some stops under this 1263, even even last week's low at 1269.70. There'll be some stops under there. So it says potential for some more, <clears throat> some more selling. There are there are a few longs out there. Um, let's pop over to oil. Oil recovered from its worst levels, but that that was uh, that was lower a couple hours ago and still down in the day. Uh, here the S and P's are up a little bit, 0.25 percent. Nasdaq was just basically unchanged all day. Didn't do much. Didn't do much at all. Um, so the euro yen chart we're, we're definitely watching for a uh, with this uh, maybe a false break on the downside you know this could this could continue higher well you had a lot of a lot of uh, longs puke out last night during the asian session dollar turkey was strong all day put in a marginally lower low from friday we took out a couple daily lows here and now this is a new closing high at uh, 392.60, and if we look at <clears throat> the bigger picture in dollar Turkey, this is one we're watching. We think this can go well above the four handle by year end. So we've got you know five weeks left in the year, and we we would not be at all surprised to see this thing five even seven percent higher. The highest weekly close that we've seen all year, or for the, the whole move, is about 386. We did have a high in the beginning of January. 394.50 and we're just below that so we wouldn't be at all surprised to see this thing at 405 410 even in the next couple of weeks 
it's a pretty powerful bar up near the highs and a lot of political stuff going on there and um, you know things look are, are looking interesting for dollar turkey here's the Aussie yen similar to the euro yen and dollar yen reversal higher bars today and again that was you know mainly from the the US yields and the gold move lower in the US yields uh, higher here's Kiwi yen even the beleaguered Kiwi dollar is showing some strength against the yen today uh, as far as economic data not much on the calendar <clears throat> we do have the RBA monetary policy meeting minutes and RBA's assistant governor Bullock speaks <clears throat> and that uh, that's pretty much it for the Asia session and we have RBA governor Lowe speaking and uh, we have the GDT milk price index out of New Zealand in, uh, in uh, the New York morning existing home sales and then Fed Chair Yellen is speaking but overall it's a pretty quiet on the calendar uh, for, uh, for Tuesday's session so good luck and uh, we will speak to you on the European